Namaste. I am Anandi and I'm going to look after the yogic diet session for your online yoga therapy course. Online course. And I'm so grateful for Nyandev and Deepika who had this amazing idea to create an online yoga therapy course and give the uh, opportunity to so many of you and to us to learn from each other and to experience um, teaching and learning through uh, technology, through internet. What we will do, we will learn how to use food as a spiritual practice. We will learn how to use food as a healing technique. And we will learn how to use food to help others do the same, to heal and uh, evolve through food. It's difficult to believe it that food can help us evolve, but how? Because food is taking a lot of uh, prana, a lot of vitality to be digested and absorbed, it's actually, sometimes it's actually a, an obstacle in our development, in our sadhana, in our practices. But when the food is properly cooked, properly, the ingredients are properly chosen and we eat the food with the proper attitude, then it can become a tool for our sadhana, a tool for our spiritual development and also a healing tool. That's why, uh, and this is what we will learn. I created a system that I call it activated vegan food. I teach activated vegan food and this is uh, an online course as well how to uh, create a way of living around food but also how to eat and what to eat so that the food will keep its vitality and help us also keep our vitality. So it's about vitality first and then about healing. Because high vitality can heal you. Because if you have prana, if you have energy, you can prevent illness and you can heal yourself. It's vegan vegan is because we cannot easily find alive ingredients, ingredients that keep their vitality and uh, even vegetarian ingredients. All the animal products these days are so processed, so artificial that uh, it's difficult to, to find something that is really, really has, uh, has kept its prana, its energy. Uh, ancient yogis used to live with milk and fruit but now the milk is pasteurized. So it's difficult, it's difficult to find food that is alive, activated. That's why we prefer to use vegan ingredients, but don't, don't let this stop you. Uh, we do not insist on that, and we are not being fanatic. We are just trying to find the right combination so the food will have the nutrients, nutrients it needs, and it will be, uh, you feel satisfied when you eat it. And at the same time, as much as we can keep the uh, ingredients in their whole form and uh, be activated, be alive. So don't worry about vegan. You don't need to become vegan, but you need to start learning what food makes you alive makes you feel that you have energy and what food makes you feel down. This is what we will learn and what we will practice together. We will learn how to cook, we will learn how to make sprouts and how we activate the seeds, uh, nuts, um, grains, pulses. And uh, we will create a way of life that includes food, a yogic life that includes food. It, it's, not, it's not food that is out and I do my sadhana and then food is something else. It's together. So a yogic sadhana 
that includes food. So I can't wait to meet you, I can't wait to share with you and to, to, to work together and create together and I can't wait to be with, with Nyandev and Deepika again as we used to be before in our yogic uh, training and uh, yes, thank you very very much.